Hello, good evening. My name is Sebastian Frank. I'm from Restaurant Horvath in Berlin. I'm from Austria, near Tuena. And I want to welcome you in our restaurant. This evening I prepare some dishes for you. And the next plate will be venison, green asparagus and some fermented vegetable. At first we have a tartar of venison and we spice it with a, a special mustard. Uh, uh, told, uh, there's a mustard factory in, in Berlin. Berlin. They make a, a mustard. It's spiced with uh, cranberries, with pepper and horseradish. So it's a really uh, spicy mustard. And as a second spice we use uh, the, a special kind of oil. Uh, apricot seed oil. It's from Austria. These are the two things we make the venison tartar and we spice it with this cranberry uh, mustard and with the oil. We love to, to prepare dishes with a lot of vegetable and then we, we, may, we love to make one or two spots with meat or with, with, with fish but it's in the background and it just uh, uh, used to, to spice the vegetable, the, the fish or the meat, whatever. So we have just a small spot of this and the rest is going to be a vegetable and so you eat a vegetarian dish but with the spice, a little spice of meat or fish. This is what we're loving to do. So, we roast the green asparagus directly on the, on the plate with uh, pumpkin seed oil. This uh, makes a special, uh, special taste when, when you roast something in pumpkin seed oil. And of course pumpkin seed oil, uh, in Austria you grow up with it. Also, this is the second thing what babies will have in their bottle, milk and then pumpkin seed oil. <laughs> Now when you're in Sierra, uh, uh, this is where the, 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 the famous pumpkin seed oil comes from, from Sierra. Yeah? And when you come to Sierra, you have everything with pumpkin seed or pumpkin seed oil. We just roast it from one side, that it get uh, uh, colored and uh, uh, roasty flavor. But we try to keep it, uh, it raw, a little bit raw. That it, uh, don't lose uh, the bite and the freshness and, and the green taste. We spice it just with a little salt. Then we make a spice from pumpkin seed, from roasted pumpkin seed. We roast the seeds and then we, we mix it. And then we put some garlic inside and some cinnamon. Cinnamon and a little bit of, of sugar. So it gets you know, just a little uh, roasty taste from, from the pumpkin seeds and uh, a little bit sweetness from the sugar and of course together with cinnamon, everybody loves it, sugar and cinnamon together and uh, to make a little uh, uh, a kick we put some garlic inside. Then we have a we have a mayonnaise uh, made of, of dried mushrooms. Yeah, we uh, just uh, take uh, chicken stock, chicken stock uh, together with some, of course, with some egg, and then we take brown butter, brown butter, and mix the mayonnaise, and then we flavor it with with dried uh, mixed mushrooms. Then we have some uh, some uh, walnut oil, especially from uh, from uh, from an oil factory in Austria. It's called Fandler. Uh, it's also in Syria. It's uh, it's uh, very high quality of oil from from Austria.
Then we have fermented vegetable. At first we have uh, red beet juice, red beet juice, and the second way we have celery. Both we put uh, in in a stone in, in a stone, yeah, big big pots of uh, made of stone. We put it inside, and then we uh, try to make it like uh, white sauerkraut. Uh, so it's fermented. It's uh, you you put you put the, the celery inside the, the stone pot yeah? and then you fill it up with salt uh, salt water and uh, different spices and then you leave it there for maybe three weeks uh, three to till uh, six six weeks and then it gets sour like like cucumbers or white cabbage or anything else this is a, a traditional way like your like my grandma or my mother do it the same every year You know when a vegetable is going to be fermented, it gets sour, like it's getting a natural acid, yeah? and so you have the oil and the and the the juice from the from the fermented red beet, and it's like a uh, vinaigrette yeah, together with the oil. Then we have some really hard grilled onions. The onion is going to be grilled and then we make it together with uh, mushroom vinegar. The mushroom vinegar we do for our, uh, our own in, the, in, in autumn when, when you have a lot of uh, different mushrooms. Uh, we cook the mushroom, the mushroom uh, vinegar for the whole year. Uh, and you know it's a really earthy taste yeah, from, from, from the, the vinegar from the, from the mushrooms. So, and at last we have the, the sorrel, yes, the sorrel, uh, I collect them f five minutes far away from, from my home, uh, the, the, the wood is starting and the, you have different herbs and flowers and I collect it from there. And I forget. <laughs> There's one part. I, I, I forget one part. We have the moras. <laughs> I forgot this. We also roast it for the plate. We flavor it with salt, ro ro roast it a little bit in butter, and we then we we give a small of our vegetable spice on the top, so it gets an end, uh, intense taste. So thanks a lot for watching my movie, and I want to say bon appetit, or we we uh, we say in Austria, mindset.